Now there's a slight issue here and I just want to show it to you. Um, this is the infant mortality data and if you scroll to the bottom you'll see that there's 262 which really means there were 261 entries right because the top one let me just remind you the top one's just a title okay but if I go to the other one over here it says 260 which means they're mismatched Grr. all right so we're gonna have to delete somebody hold that thought and that's why in the instructions back here I put in step two right there delete the countries of countries they're not countries anymore but the countries of Hawaii and Malaya from the infant mortality spreadsheet that's because Hawaii for example was not part of the US um, it was not a state back in the day in the 1800s and Malaya which is right there all right once those two are deleted the two data sets will match up beautifully okay so you just have to take the time to delete them from the infant mortality one if you look for them in the other one you're not going to find them right all right then step three we need to copy and paste the data from the life expectancy sheet into the infant mortality workbook so the infant mortality one is going to be my main one so i'm going to copy see how this says the life expectancy up here so i'm going to click on this column again move that cursor up so that it turns into a downward facing arrow and I can click either copy up here or I can um, use hold on the control button and press C that's how I do it or you can right click and choose copy that's another way and then I'm gonna go to the other one the infant mortality one I'm gonna click up here on this cell right here I'm gonna right click and I can choose paste right here this top left one or I could choose it from up here or I can just press control and V and there it is now this is a little confusing because they're not the same thing so I better label them right away and this one is infant mortality in 2005 and this was life expectancy in 2005 it is very important that you're doing this in the infant mortality spreadsheet do not do this in the life expectancy spreadsheet and you'll see why later okay and while I'm at it there's a label for you right because these are this is the country we're talking about I'm even gonna make these all size 11 beautiful okay so make this in your infant mortality spreadsheet right should have a data should have an about that says infant mortality right there you need that later on footnote settings all right so infant mortality in this column life expectancy in that column we deleted those two countries that would have made the whole thing go haywire we relabeled the columns hey I just did that with appropriate labels right because otherwise it says 2005 2005 which is useless so I need to let myself know this one was the mortality this one was the life expectancy so I already did that and I already labeled the countries delete any rows where the country is missing I um, either of the variables okay so that's actually not that hard I'll show you how and again work in the infant mortality one as a matter of fact we can close the other one we no longer need this it's gonna ask you if you want to save it if you're worried about losing your data you can save it somewhere but it's not necessary all right so I made it go away I don't care if I save it or not I just want to save this one eventually so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sort so I, I click on this column column B and I highlighted the whole column and I go to data and you can do it either A to Z or Z to A either way I'll do A to Z and it's gonna ask you do you want to expand sure so sort right? and it sorted everybody from lowest to highest and then at the bottom it has all these ones that have nothing so I'm gonna highlight all those rows the same way I did those columns I kind of go over to the numbers and I left click right so I went over here to the 200 see how it turns into that right facing arrow I left clicked I dragged down got all these highlighted I'm gonna right click and delete and they're all gone now I'm gonna do it again but this time I'm gonna highlight column C so I'm gonna do that one lowest to highest yep expand it scroll down see these ones delete all of them because they don't have data values for both so I click on all those rows right click delete now they're gone fabulous all right I'll meet you back here for more see it